lumberjack games are upon us. Now, despite Murray's study of the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat Jean Basson at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cheat. Murray, you'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Basson up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep Basan from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Basan's log so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. I totally just got a flashback of wacky races with Penelope Pitstop and Dick Dastardly and Muttley and all of them. And we all know how it turns out when they try to cheat. We're all ready for the lumberjack games, though you should probably buy an alarm clock gadget first. You never know when you'll need one. Aha, so that's the thing that the people were talking about that I needed. I do need an alarm clock, okay. And you know what, we have enough, so we'll buy everything else. Awesome. Wait, who do we use first anyways? Murray? Or does it really even matter? Probably doesn't. Okay, guys, let's head down there and win those talons from Jean Bissot. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. Not a good idea. And thank you, Jetpack. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let them try. See, this would be perfect for the PlayStation Move. Come on, hit the center. I probably don't have to hit the center, but I want to anyway, so meh. Not bad, Hippo. But watch and learn as I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Go cheating! Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Basan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe time. Oh my god, bird! And sadly enough... Damn it. Well, there goes our egg. Well, thankfully, we get a reset right here, and we don't have to worry about redoing the entire chopping log thing. That would have been annoying. Just keep moving forward. But as I was about ready to say, it's a shame that we can't use our jetpack right there, and we can't even jump. So we do have to play the waiting game at that one area right there. Doesn't make sense that we can't jump. Okay, this is going to get annoying. Come on. We got plenty of time, so it's not like that's an issue. Just a matter of avoiding the damn bird. Okay, good. The bird doesn't try, try to swoop us. Swoop! 
The bird doesn't try and swoop us when we're waiting. That's good to know. Yeah. Only on the first stretch. Oh, crap. Running low on time. Come on. Oh, it's going to be a close call. Or not. What? I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? Oh, that's unbiased. So, your pink friend knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. Alright, this is gonna be fun. Maybe. I've had problems with hooks in the past, so we'll see. Oh, there we go. Problem. I tried to skip one of the hooks, so... I, yeah, that's what I kind of tried to do, but it didn't work the first time. Oh, come on now. That sad cane of yours isn't helping you any. Crap. Okay, good. So, so we do get to repeat it. We don't get it stuck with the score we get. Good to know. Okay, so I think we just wait for that to electrocute. Not electrocute us, though. <laughs> That's about what I expected from a raccoon. I think I got it for the most part. Um, pretty much, <laughs> if you mess up once, your time is going to run out. You're not really given much room for error. Actually, I take that back. You're given plenty of time. Pretty good for a scrawny raccoon. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Quick, cheat again. Murray, use those grapples to hook onto Besod. You will need to hook it with all three lines to pull him off the wall. And somehow he's still going to get a perfect 10. Somehow I have a feeling that he's bribed the judges. Okay, that's one. Damn, he's fast. Uh, nope, gotta do it again. I am king of the mountain! Ooh. He is just fast. I think the main problem is that I waste way too much time on that first hook. First time too high, second time too low. Well, this time just right. It's that jump right there that gets him so much higher. Come on. Damn, too high. Actually, this one might be perfect. I'm actually surprised he didn't go through the ice. It seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than 10? I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last, the spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Stay on the logs for the duration of the challenge. And no, you can't use your hover pack. No cheating. You disgrace my competition with that performance. A two. Boo. Well, you figure you are going to fail the first few attempts at one of these log challenges. I mean, you got to get used to them. 
Oh, oh, just barely. I mean, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Yay for double jump. Oh, come on. Log rolling turtle. Who ever heard of such a thing? Give me some wheels. Well, actually, that probably wouldn't help either, because I'd still be sinking. I want my hover pack. I mean, he says he wants us to cheat, so that'd be the perfect choice for items. Halfway done. I'm almost going to fall off the back of these things. Go! Oh, I mean, they're going to fall off the back or the front. I'm actually surprised at his maneuverability. Oh, okay. You're one lucky turtle. I'll give you that. But now, watch how a skilled log roller does it. This is crazy. John Besson's got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. Then I guess I need to hurry. But yeah, I was lucky as hell that during that event. Alright, so... There's that. Let's replace the, uh... Lightning spin. We never use that anyways, and I doubt we will. Okay. Okay, that was a waste. It actually worked out. That's surprising. Come on, over here. This way, come on. Oh, I can't be seen by any of the judges either. That kind of makes things a little bit more difficult. Okay, I think I got it though. I am enjoying the music though, it kind of reminds me of Indiana Jones. Which is weird because this is supposed to be Canada music. Oh. Into the cave. That's one. <laughs> that is actually a convincing disguise. A lot better than the tuxedo from before. That's hilarious. Bentley is a as a duck. It's awesome. Oh, I can't wait to see Murray as a duck. Not as convincing. Still funny to see, though. Make sure I'm out of the line of sight. Okay, into the cave. What? 
I thought I warned you judges about the consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a second. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the challenge, then why don't you just take them? Ow! Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Oh, who, where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bison must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. How convenient a walkie-talkie. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. No Sly could probably fit through that too. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, candy britches. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I... Just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talents. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it! Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command! I hear ya. Prepare yourself, Bissan! On guard! Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call out which lever I should pull. You can call Bentley a lot of things, but you can't call him stupid. Okay, let's try flames. Uh-huh. No, that's a long, that's a circle. Fire! Okay, that's that. Sawblades! Okay, I think I got it. Lots away. No, no, that's uh flames are these. Flame up. Yep. Flame them again! Flame on! Right. Come on in here, boys. Let's get this varmint. Now, if we keep running around right there, it's not going to be that difficult, is it? It's going to be kind of cheating. Flames! There you go. Flames! Flames! Yeah, screw it. We'll just take the easy flames. route. Flames! Bam! Fire up! How's that? Here yeah, I'm taking advantage of <laughs> an exploit. Cook him! Done. We are so exploiting this thing. All right. Cook him. Eat dynamite, turtle. Okay, now it may ramp up in difficulty. I hope, because going Cook around him. in circles like this is too easy. Flames, flames. There's no way a boss fight yep. should be this simplistic. There you go. I'm actually ashamed of taking advantage of this. Come out, boys. Let's get to killing. No, it's screw it. Let's try something else, because that's just too boring, going after the exact same thing over and over again. How's that? Saws! On it. Saws! Okay. Blades! Blades! Yep. 
Um, I actually didn't say flames right there. I said saw blades. We'll kill him with the blades. There we go. Tarnation! I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, braids triumph over brawn. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me! You... did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks! Uh, attention, uh, John Bisson. Arpeggio's, uh, carrier blimp will, uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! Shake a leg! That blimp's on its way! Okay, where is it? Where do I need to go? That way. And thankfully, with my boosters... Oh, I actually tried to jump right there. That was simple enough. What Bentley was there first? As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. No. And I just thought of something. Arpeggio is a buzzard of some sort. He has all the clockwork parts. Put two and two together, and we're gonna have a clockwork 2.0. And I guess we're gonna deal with Helm next time. So until then, adios.